What is going on, guys? This is SJH Sports, and welcome to Friday Night FIFA Show. Again, I am joined by the Alpster. Hello, mate. How are we doing? I'm good, mate. You? I'm not too bad. We made it to episode three. We've, we've just made it to episode three after the video you released, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, well, my we son's ran away. <laughs> yeah, so, early release, big <laughs> FIFA news. It's got to be early release, topic one. It is. And you'll all probably have FIFA in your grubby little mitts as we speak. But um, the big news from this week is definitely the early release. What are your thoughts? I love it. It took me a while to get used to it. Um, I think it play. I don't know. It, my own personal opinion is they've gone with it realistic. Yeah, agreed. But again, there's still... FIFA. Yeah, there's still AIDS. I'm still trying to get to grips with it. The, my record's yeah. not bad. I've uh, seven wins, eight losses, but a lot of that was a couple of disconnects and things like that. Right, but my I record. Just can't. Oh, I've lost twelve, and about eight of them was because of the goddamn freaking freeze. Yeah, I've put that in big letters in our show notes. Freezing issues. Yeah, freezing. yeah. I'm not all about the outside temperature. It's just the, the especially Aman Siddiqui, um, who you know who plays at a really high standard. He's a really good yeah. FIFA player. Has been complaining about freezing issues on the early release. But he's yep. also got the disc-based version, and he says yeah, he's experiencing freezing on the disc yeah. as well. Yeah. So that's not a good start, EA, considering Rockstar polished their games to within an inch of their life, and they never fail, and everything works beautifully. Everyone goes, oh, FIFA's only one game a year, and Rockstar's one every five years, but it's not the point. They know how to that's make a game. Um, and the, yeah, it's, <laughs> the, I think the, the one thing I do like about it is you play against the kid and he's not just pinging balls over the top for yeah. the pace forward. However, there is that long ball over the top still, which is a bit OP. Have you but... found that when the two of them, when your attacker is stood right side by side with the centre back, and yeah. the ball comes in from the air, often the ball ends up with the attacker and he's clear of you? Yes, and I've noticed that, yeah. He's driving up the wall. Yeah, it, it does that. But the pace thing is just, I'm happy. There is a little bit of pace. I've, I've, I've got. I think my pace of play is Aaron Lennon. Yeah. And he is, he is pacey. Rapid. However, strength's massive this strength year. Strength is a big thing this year. Yeah, strength is huge, mate. It's, it's, it's like Aaron Lennon. He, he has the ability to beat a player, which I like. Yeah. On here. But once he's beating that player, all he has to do is if it's someone big and bulky like company, yeah. all he has to do is just walk across him and he won't ball back straight away. Yeah. You know, he doesn't he gets barged off the ball a little too easy. He has to get round the player. That's it, he has to get actually round him and, that's and the into the space. Yeah, that's a challenge and I enjoy that. I found the dribbling difficult to start with. But one thing I am using uh is not using the R T. So yeah. I take it past the play, then I'll use the RT for that quick change. So of you're almost forcing your life. hand away from the sprint button. Yeah, that's it. The only time I sprint is when I'm defending. Nine times and out of ten. And catching up with a running attacker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, and it, and I like it how the manoeuvre the ball when not using the R, the RT or the R, R2 button, the sprint button. Yeah. They do move it in some good ways. It's good to get out of tight situations. Doesn't happen all the time, which it happens in real life. A player doesn't get out of tight situations all the time. But, but it does work on occasion. It does work on occasions, and that's what I think they've tried to do. I've had some moments sense. of brilliance. I had a moment with Eto where I was about 40 yards out and I was approaching, and he got penned in and he did a Berber, Berber spin and mm-hmm. then just cracked it with the outside of his boot. And it from about 25 yards, and it just sailed past the keeper. And it was one of those moments where you just think, what a brilliant game this is. And then it's, yeah. I find it punctuated with moments of they feel like they're running through treacle. And I'm, yes. I'm just getting used to it. It's it's just taking that little bit of time. Everyone keeps saying yeah. that the way to play it is pass, 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 pass. Move yeah. their players around the pitch. Create that space, and the wingers will run on and will give you opportunities. And it, it does work it to does a point. Work. That's how I tried to play FIFA 13. I like to keep possession. You know, if there were nothing on, I'd go back. But I wouldn't, like, express it going all the way back to the keeper or anything yeah. like that. I just, you know, I'd like to Passing around keep... the midfield and then eventually making space. 
and, and waiting for that opportunity to split through. And I struggled with it on FIFA 13. On 14, I'm, I think I'm, I'm doing better at it because of how it plays without the pace. That's it. I keep that makes I sense. keep wanting to go on it, and then I start playing it, get frustrated, and turn it off after two or three games. But I, I need to, I yeah. need to have a session, a long kind of seven or eight matches, and really try and get to grips with it and understand yeah. the the dynamics. Because I find myself slipping into old habits. I find myself yeah. trying to play the ball over the top. I try and find myself trying to skill my way past people, and it's just not that kind of game anymore. It's not. It's definitely not. And I've played about fifty games on Ultimate Team. I'm in Division 7 on seasons, and now I am... you start starting to get to grips with it. Uh, yeah, I'm getting to grips with it really well, because I know I play a different kind of style, and it's working against people at the minute. However, come three months' time, my style May probably won't work. It'll change again, because people will be used to the game. I think... And I think... Go on, Al. No, I was going to say, I think it's a bit like when you get that album that you don't like straight away, but you listen to it five or six times and it becomes your favourite album of all time. And I think exactly. it's a little bit like that. I think it needs, yeah. uh, in inverted commas, a good listen before you know yeah. before you yeah, learn it properly. It. Before you learn it. It's like every, every year FIFA is different. You know, we struggled with FIFA 13 when that first came out. But I think we got to grips with FIFA 13 quicker than what we are with 14. Yeah. I think 14 is... The most it's taken the most to get used to out of any of the so far. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm looking No, for. I agree with you to be honest with you. Um so let us know in the comments below, guys. Have you got FIFA fourteen? Have you got your grubby little mitts on it yet? And what do you think? Are you are you enjoying it? Because a lot of people won't have got the early release. So No, no, we've got to remember as well, we're recording this on Wednesday, so the actual full release in the UK or Europe isn't out at the minute. But when this goes live, it'll be out. So you may have had a couple of games on it. So just let us know in the comments below what you think of the games. And any freezing issues as well. If you have the full release and it's freezing on you, let us know as well. Because the freezing has drove me insane. I've it's not suffered it. I've only had one or two on PS3. And I know that a few people have said it seems to be predominantly Xbox. But yeah. some people on PS3 have had issues. Do you know when you installed it, downloaded the early yeah. release? on the, Did it go to 100%? Yes. On the Xbox, went to eighty percent. Really? It did for me? Yeah, it went from eighty and jumped straight up to a hundred within seconds. Odd. Which was weird. Which I think it could have been a certain thing missing from the game, or some sort of issue. But then again, yeah. Aman Siddiqui has said he's having it in the disc version. So that's it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah, that's it. And I know there's a patch as well. Sorry to keep going no, on. No, there about is. It. I installed. There's a patch it. in the um, that's coming out and. It's toning down the headers because the headers are OP. The massively, it's easy to score a header. I think on this this year. Yeah, they see, and especially from corners. From yeah, that's it. Corners are a nightmare to defend, but the finesse as well, the tweaking that because that is, it's not as OP as a demo, but it's still pretty OP. Needs, yeah, it still needs tweaking. I no, think. that's for sure. Should we move on to our hidden gem? So who's our hidden gem then, Stu? Well, we've gone. For an, a non-rare silver player again this this time it's still a silver. Last week was was it medal, 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 medal. Yeah, however it's called, and it was a, a rare. This time is he's well known. I've played with him. I played quite a few games with him. I wanted to try him out in a squad builder of mine, and he's performing really well in real life. And it's Ross Barkley. Oh, the Everton legend. The Everton fast becoming. Le- yeah, the Everton starlet. Medium um, medium work rates. Four star weak foot, three star skills. One thing I will say, looking at his foot with his stats, don't look good on paper. However, he plays brilliantly well. There's a few players like that, isn't there? That that they yeah, don't that... look much. Wallace is no. the same. Wallace and actually, if you look at his stats, look pretty poor. But you put him in a game, Jesus. Yeah, that's it. And I think he's one of them. I I really did enjoy playing his shooting. On stats, they're only 63, but in, it's the power he gets behind them. Uh, just just they a are barnstorming shot. Yeah, they are, yeah. And I think I've, I've started to get footage of him for a player review, which will be out play a couple of weeks' time. Maybe I'm, It depends how organised they are. Um, but if you look at his pace, it's 79 pace, he's shooting 63, passing 71, dribbling 72, defending to only 59, but he they always can, seems so. Yeah, he's a cam, yeah, so... But he's good at tackling. 
he's one That's of those. That's what I don't get. He's, yeah, it's strange. And heading of 64, 65. 65, sorry. So yeah. we're talking about a good, solid centre attack in mid. His work rates are perfect for that position. He's got good weak foot of four. And as Stu says, I know he's going for, what, 2.8K on Xbox, 1.1K on PS3. Yeah. Peanuts. Pick him up, Peanuts. guys. Try him. Try him out. You know, I know you've got him out, but you're yet to try him out, yeah. I've got him. I've got him in my Everton team. I'm making an Everton team on paper, and then I'm going to obviously put it together when, so what the likes of Lukaku, etc. But uh, yeah, yeah. Barkley, I picked up for, I think, a 1,000 coins, something like that. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a good player for this time of the year. So if you're looking for to buy a player that's cheap, that will do a job, then Barkley is the man. Because, you know, a lot of people haven't got coins at the minute, and they don't want to be spending 20k on a player risking it. This is the one to go for. This is yeah. This is it. I think his price will stay the same for a couple of weeks. It may go down a bit, and people but... won't be expecting it. And people, yeah, that's they'll look it. at it and go, oh, "He's got, he's got a number, a number of silver," and you'll be like, "Boom!" I do like yeah. that. Yeah, I liked him. Try him out, guys. Let us know in the comment section if you did play with him and what you thought of him. And let's move on to topic two. Right, and we're moving on to topic two, which is channel of the week, Stu. We've picked yep. someone. We have. We've got something this week. Makes a change compared Actually, to the last two weeks. Ball. Yep, he's here. It's Footy Star Mitch. Say hello, Footy Star Mitch. Hello, everyone. <laughs> he's here. <laughs> we've actually got him in the Skype call. <laughs> we've picked him because his sweating. channel's awesome. <laughs> he's sweating. He's sweating. <laughs> Brilliant. He's not playing he's sweating like the 30k BPL sweat team he uploaded earlier. <laughs> not that I'm looking at his channel at all. <laughs> See, 840 subs, Mitch. Yeah, fifty-two thousand views. You've had fifty-two thousand people click on your video. Oof, that's pretty awesome, really? actually. I couldn't see your channel I've yet. Not that you check your stats very often, do you? No, <laughs> no. Fair. That's pretty awesome. And um, you don't know, Footy Star Mitch is a really good FIFA channel. I had him on the Sunday shout out a while back, and he is well deserving, bringing really good FIFA 14 content and. I expect big things from you, Mitch, in FIFA 14. Oh, pressure, pressure. Pressure's on from the Alp. No pressure, mate. We're going to ask you some, <laughs> well, might ask you some questions. Right, um, do you want me to crack it off? Yeah, why not? Right, footy, uh, star Mitch. <laughs> you can just call might me be Mitch able to call him Mitch, to. you know, I might be sorry. Uh, Mitch, <laughs> so's, so's lad. Um, why did you start YouTube? Uh, well, basically what happened was I had, these, I had these pair of turtle beaches and they were broke. And uh, I know this is going to be stupid, but a lad on Facebook actually tagged me in something. He put on there that he was selling his HD PVR for fifty pound, and this is way back when they were like, this was like a year, a year and a half ago when they were like, what, hundred and twenty quid. I paid that. <laughs> so I said to him, I, I give you, I'll give you fifty quid in these turtle beaches, and these were broke. And he said, yeah, go on then. <laughs> so I basically got this HD PVR, <clears throat> and the major watch back then was uh, Jape. So I just wanted need to like him and I mean all I, I'm a FIFA addict all I do is play FIFA so may as well load it and share it with the world and you have <laughs> so when yeah. did you start your channel and that was I'm just looking to look at when you actually started um, I, I've been on YouTube for I mean I've made it I've had an account for about three years yeah um, but I actually started last Christmas when I got a pretty swish computer uh, for Christmas one that so, could actually um, render <laughs> yeah <laughs> You must have been a good boy that year. <laughs> <laughs> so you you were right in the heart of um, right in the heart of FIFA 13 territory then. Yeah. Team of the uh, team of the team of the year and all that January December January yeah, I time. Yeah, it was. I think it was just after. Yeah, it was round Jan just mid January probably. I did upload some FIFA uh, 12 videos, but they were awful. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I, sell I it. love it. So what kind of content do you upload then, Mitch? Uh, well, at the minute I've just started uploading FIFA 14, uh, and hopefully the game would have come today if this is going out on the Friday. Yep. So I'm going to have a lot of pack openings up over the next couple of weeks, and then I have my unique series, which is Goals Galore, nice. where um, I go through the BPL and I build every team um, from that league on FIFA. So I'll start off with an Arsenal team and go down, and basically cool. they have eight. They have eight games to score as many goals as possible. Uh, last year, Arsenal did actually win it. And then whatever team does win, um, whatever team scores the most goals in the eight games, I will build the best possible of that team. So 
best Arsenal or best United or. Yeah, that sounds yeah, interesting. So the, the best thing is I really enjoy playing the eight games with different teams. I mean, Everton last year, I thought they were going to be awful and they were probably one of the best teams I've used on FIFA. Just like in real life? <laughs> Give over help. Couldn't help that, could you? You knew that was coming. <laughs> and you're using right. the HDPVR, are you? The, you're still using the old yeah. hot bog. It, it sometimes breaks and it needs a good smack, but uh, <laughs> it, it does the job. So uh, what editing software do you use, Mitch? Um, I've recently just bought this thing off Amazon. Yeah, I know I'm really bad with like technical stuff, but it, I think it's Vegas Pro. You've got the Something. same version I have, I think. Vegas Movie Studio <laughs> it, HD. Yeah, that's it. That's it the was one only, I use. I've used that. That's the one I use. It was £30, and I'm literally still getting grips with it. I've got myself paint shop. I mean, it t- when people join YouTube, they think it's just going to be easy, like, oh, yeah, I'll just make this. But the amount... Mm-hmm of effort and money you have to put into it. I mean, editing software costs money, recording software costs money, unless you're illegally downloading it. So Even a decent mic. You, yeah, you know, I paid yeah, 40 mic. quid for my Turtle Beaches. I paid yeah, 500 for the laptop. I paid another... Well, Elgato kindly sent me a yeah, thing about I paid 120 for my original Hop Hog. Yeah. And just the games, you know... To yeah, the games, the console. Points, if you want to be really points, technical, points. there's so much... Yeah, you've and you know if you want to bring out because everyone said to me some fella kept sending me videos of him pointing a camera as you said at a TV, and it might have got away with it you know two years ago, but at the moment yep. people expect crystal clear yeah. sound and they expect HD PVR quality as a minimum or you know yep. Elgato quality H- as a minimum. HD content now. I, I feel like thumbnails are a massive thing as well. I mean I'm rubbish on paint shops, so I, I've had a lot of people make mine, but you know. I'm trying to get to grips with it because if you're if you're scrolling down your page and you're looking at the videos and you see someone like with a real good thumbnail, it's bright, colourful, it's got like big text. You want to click on it, you want to see it. So draws you in. Yeah, yeah that's still, it. it's the old. You only get one chance to make a first impression, and if if you can make that right first impression with a good thumbnail. Yeah. Um, I've started making my own. They're a little bit dodgy at the moment, but I'm I'm trying. <laughs> And I know what you mean. It does. I think it is important to be honest with you. It it is the first yeah. thing people, and especially if you can get a style, because if you can get a style like a unique style of thumbnail, people will instantly notice it's your video. I think. See, I haven't got a guy, a regular guy that does my thumbnails for me. Hence, my latest squad builder hasn't got a thumbnail on it. I've asked about, I've asked about, and a guy said that he'd make me one, and he. I couldn't get on Skype at the time, and I said send it over to Twitter, and he didn't. Yeah, so you were left without one. <clears throat> so yeah, and, I left some without people one. are like, some people say, and then they say that they'll charge you a lot of money. I do, you know, it's like. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few people. Play, fair play if it's really good, but. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a little bit like someone someone sent me one the other day and said, "Oh, I've made your thumbnail. Give me ten k, and you can have it." I'm like. No, you're all right, mate. <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it. You know, like my channel art I've got up, up at the minute, I was just sat playing FIFA and I got a tweet through from this guy and never even spoke to him on Twitter. And he says, just made you a channel art. And I looked at it and it's the one that I've got up now and I really liked it because yeah, it's obviously it's, to do with leads and it's got it's the leads good, deep. To be fair. You know, and I like the text on it. It was, it was superb. And then I, I've not been able to get in touch with him again. I don't know where he's gone. Disappeared forever. Yeah, that's it. it just come out like a knight in shining armor, giving you a channel art, and then just disappears. Yeah, I didn't even mist. have to ask. He just did it, and I thought, do you know, what? I'm I'm going to use this because you didn't. And only what it good. He's just gone off his own back. You didn't use and abuse him, did you? You didn't still? block him, did you? No, no. I, did, you, mate, did you just take it's very rare? I block oh, people. Stu. Alpster, <laughs> come on. <laughs> We're going a bit off topic here, aren't we? <laughs> Last question: we What do. are you most looking forward to in FIFA 14? In FIFA 14, um, well, I am I am getting an Xbox One, so I'm really looking forward to these legend cards. Yeah. Uh, and essentially the next gen. Uh, I mean, I'm it does look really good, and I know you're going to be playing it this weekend, though. So. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it, it I'm, looking, forward, I'm looking forward it to playing it. You're a gamer. It. Um, no near it. Oh, I'll be, I'll, I'll, oh, I had to look at the I had to look at the floor map. You know where FIFA is. Oh, it's man, on the Xbox side. It's on the it. Xbox side, mate. 
Oh, <laughs> that's telling you something out. Get that PS4 cancelled and get an Xbox. Yeah, oh, oh, mate, mate, come on. You, it's on the Xbox side. I was looking at it going because you have a list of all the different games and where they are. Yeah, it's yeah. down to FIFA, FIFA 14, and it's sat there, smack bang, Xbox One stand. I was like, fucking bastard. <laughs> but, uh, Go on. Oh, I tell you, I'm getting a PS4. Screw the lolly. You can keep your legend cards and shuffle them if you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I think they will come out for the PS3. For the I little, think long PS4. term. I think it, may, yeah. it might take them three or four months. I think Xbox yes. will probably get them in November and we'll get them probably February, something like that. But yeah, I think it knew it early New Year. Too much money. There's too much money involved for EA to pass that up, surely. Mm, yeah, and I think what they'll do on the Xbox One... Crust. <laughs> what they'll do on the Xbox One as well is I think that they'll add more cards yeah. as well. Jarring... So when you get if if it was happened to say you get them on the PS4 in January, we'll yeah. get another batch. Or if they even if they added one a month, it'd be cool to get an yeah. extra twelve legend cards. You know, everyone would be asking on say on the first of the month they released a new legend card. That'd be yeah. pretty cool. That would be good. Or at least one of every team of the week, like Damn, in the bottom corner be... or something like that. Yeah, they could. It's just it depends that it's whether they've got like fifty two legend cards they could they could put out. Um, yeah. Well, there's one player that's not in it. It's Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, I was. I can't believe he's not it there. Must be image rights. It's got to be an image rights issue. I'm, I'm just looking forward to using Gary Lineker. I mean, everyone's going on about I me. Mean, oh, Gary Lineker is a legend. Gary Lineker is. Oh. You just know he's going to be an all-out goal scorer. He's just. He's like he's like a shearer, isn't he? He's just that kind yeah. of guy. You just, yeah, like, yeah. just like look at him and think, yeah, you you could score goals. Loved Alan Shearer. I absolutely loved loved him. Loved everything oh. about Shearer. He his like, attitude, his performance, his celebration. Every celebration time he scored, so... he's scored. He's a good pundit as well, to be fair. Yeah, it's on good. match of the day. He is. He's, he's good. Yeah. I uh, no. I like the match of the day team, to be honest. I miss Hanson. I'm glad I wish he was staying. But <laughs> yeah. uh, I like Hanson. <sighs> Don't, don't I'll you tell you who, noise, I, who I can listen to all day long, right? Is ex scum, Gary Neville. His voice does me head in, <laughs> but he knows his stuff about football. <laughs> As opposed to Michael Owen on BT Sport. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Do you remember when, when Torres scored that goal in Champions League against oh, Barca? And he Gary came. Neville's reaction. <laughs> he I think he actually orgasmed oh. on TV. Oh. He's like, oh. <laughs> Great. Got to love a bit of Gary Neville. I think that is the end of the questions, Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'd love much to for talk on. forever. And I think it was pretty good just yeah. talk about any old crap. We did yeah, shit for do. about five hours. But, uh, oh, thanks very much for coming on the show, mate. And, uh, yeah, appreciate it, mate. Appreciate go it, and pal. sub. And all these details, I'm pointing again. I do this every week. I'm pointing yeah. and no one can see. <laughs> maybe, but maybe we should do one, go one on. show. With Anna? face cam, what? No, just just, just hand so you cam point. and just show me that sounds dodgy. No, just show me pointing hand, uh, cam. <laughs> hand cam. Start having a wank, Mitch. No, uh, <laughs> just, no, I'm just pointing down. Just seriously, go and click on Mitch's channel, check him out, and drop him a sub because it would really, we'd really appreciate yeah, it, and I'm sure he would as well. To one K subscribers as well. It, it Get to one K, Mitch yeah. one K. Hashtag, Hashtag Mitch to one K. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for coming on, Mitch. Cheers, yeah. Mitch. Cheers. Topic three then, Alp. Uh, team of the week. Nice. Team of the week. We, of course, record on a Wednesday, as we've said before. So this has just come out. And go on, you can say it. He is looking godly. Aguero. Aguero. I have. I was lucky enough to pull a normal Aguero from FIFA Points on the web app. Oh. And he's insanely good. His oh. normal card. His inform card. Have you seen... I've just clicked on him. 95 acceleration, 91 agility, 95 balance, 91 dribbling, 95 ball control, 99 finishing, 94 <laughs> shot power, 86 long shots. Four star skills, four star weak for high low work rates. He's got, he is. He is huge. He's close to being the perfect striker, and he's not the only decent player. You've got Baines in there for his two free kicks. David Alaba, oh. uh, Isco, Neves, Pedro, Brad Guzan, <laughs> Brad Guzan. It's just some. There's just a real solid. So, it is team of the week for the first good. week where people can buy with with FIFA points properly, officially with buying you know with PSN coins and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's. Um, 
Yeah. However, according to Footways at this moment in time, there's no Agueros on either console. I've che- I've been checking the PS3 market. Nobody's found one yet. Yeah, same. I've been checking uh, the Xbox market and no one's found any. I bet there will be come Friday. Oh, when this is Lord, released, yeah. I bet there'll be some on the market now when you guys are listening to this. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's so many good... I'm surprised how cheap Baines is going for. His normal card? No, he's in form. It's 140k, according to Footways. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. 84 rated. And it's, you know, he, his free kick stats in game. I, I picked him up for my BPL goal team purely and simply, and also for my Everton team. Because he's he's a, a a brilliant left back, but also fantastic free kick stats. Yeah, he's the um, man when it comes to free kicks. He's the one you want. I've just been searching. I've come ag- I've come across him at eighty two k. That's the cheapest I can see. That's not bad at all. It's not a fair eighty two k. I'd go and buy him. It's one of them. It just depends what he goes up to during because the amount. Think about it, the amount of packs pulled opened on Friday. Oh, the yeah. amount of packs being open today is just going to be insane. So it might not be a good team of the week to be investing in too early on. But, uh, That's true. We sh- but it's we always good see. to inform Aguero. We can always get him. Oh, just get Aguero and just weeks. make... Yeah, he's normal. Make, card, he'll, just, he'll just make your FIFA if you got him. He, he'd go for like 2 million. 1.5, 2 million easy. He's got to be on a par with Ronaldo, that card. Been keeping a close eye on Aguero's normal cards yeah. as well. And it was yesterday. It was about 175k. Today, he is going for round and about 200 mark. That is not bad so, at all, mate. Oh, making some money on there. There's three cards on the market for the Xbox. 950 is the cheapest at the minute. For there's one up for the season. Four, uh, for team t- of the week. Team of the week. Yeah. Uh, two would have put a million and 950. That's not a bad investment, that you know. It's normal. Considering he's going for 200k normal. Well, that's a good team of the week, that guys. I would, uh, yeah, I would definitely check that out. And I imagine a lot of you will be pulling those players just purely and simply for the amount of packs you're going to be opening. Typic, topic, typic four, typic four. Well done, Alp. Put your fucking teeth in, Alp. Uh, topic four is in real life football and predictions. There was only we, two can standouts. Can we just skip the first game? Just yeah. get the first game. Yeah, All let's, go to, uh, let's just talk about Man City's result, yeah? There was just one thing, one name I wanted to mention in the first game, that was the West Ham Everton game. I keep shoehorning Everton in. Leighton Blaines, two free kicks. <laughs> Leighton Blaines. Leighton Blaines. Leighton Blaines. He's, he's in, the reason he got an inform, guys, is because he scored two free kicks. He put one to the left-hand side of the goal. He then kept the keeper honest and put the other one to the right-hand side of the goal. And... Genius. He was just genius. Anyway, I've said my bit about Baines. Man City versus Man United. What happened in inverted commas? Well, 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 well. Man City dragged United down an alley and shoved... No, you get yes, the idea. they did. They got I've raped. Got, I've got a little joke for, for this Go as on. well. Let me um, let me find it first. I've got it You're not going to alienate all Man United subs, are you? No, 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 no. Well, would I? <laughs> Would I? Oh, I've got to admit, Rooney's uh, Rooney's free kick was something else. Oh, it was brilliant. Imagine what's his face. Imagine Hodgson, Roy Hodgson, sat there going, "I've got Gerrard, Lampard, Rooney, Baines. Who does he get to take his free kicks for England?" <laughs> well, it's a nice here problem we go. to have. Go on, tell us your joke. Jose Mourinho equals special one. AVB equals promising one. Manuel Pellegrini equals quiet one. David Moyes, 4-1. <laughs> oh, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, I'm done. Uh, that's brilliant. That should get comment of the week. Oh, I that's thought I mentioned that. That should definitely get comment of the week. I just, I just think it was a bad day at the office. I think Moyes is still tweaking things. Yeah. He's, he's, the oh. thing is, he's, 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 I hate saying this, and I can't get my words out. I hate saying this, but Sir Alex Ferguson was a good manager mm. and they are massive massive boots to fill they are and I, I was listening to and a program the other day and someone said that Ferguson man managed Vidic and Rooney Vidic and Rooney um, and Ferdinand those two Vidic and Ferdinand so well last year and he yeah, said yeah. did you ever see them play six games on the trot together and the answer is no they didn't because he was carefully nursing them through Rio had a bad back at some stage that kind of thing yeah, yeah. Moises basically played Vidic and Rio 
six games on the trot and you look at it and think you've got Evans there, you've got Smalling, you know, yeah. you know, there's a reason Ferguson didn't do it. And, you know, just think about it a little bit, you know, it's, yeah. well, they should be able to play. And I know there was a spell where we had Jackie Elker and um, Lescott. And yes. at the time they were, they were only second only to Vidic and Ferdinand. And, it is, you know, Vidic and Ferdinand, it is true, they are one of the best centre-back partnerships in the BPL, but you do have to definitely. nurse that relationship. Yeah, you do. You definitely do. A little bit of care being taken, I think. Predictions, <sighs> yep. Stu? Right, predictions. Who won last Predict- week's? Can we, can we skip that a little bit, please? Is that out to Stu nil? Yeah, it's Everton 2, Leeds 0. Not that it happened I, I in the I... uh, in the cup last season, did it, mate? Sorry to bring that back up. It's all right, it's all right. As it doesn't affect me winning the predictions table, I'm not bothered. No, uh, fair I days. got five points, Stu got three. We were both pretty fucking shocking, to be perfectly honest with you. I got the manual right. You did. And that's it. You did. You have to get something right, Stu, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on to this week's predictions. So, um, Saturday, and we are talking the early kickoff Tottenham versus Chelsea. What are your thoughts, Stu? 2-1 uh, to the to the Yadam, as Tottenham fans call them. Yeah. 2-1 to Tottenham. I'm going for 1-0 Spurs. I think that Chelsea will struggle at um, the lane. The lane, yeah. I think um, so. Southampton high flying Southampton beating the Red Shot. I mean Liverpool. Um, Palace Southampton. Mm, I'm going for. It. I've got back Palace one nil. You mean you no, back Southampton, Southampton? Sorry, I'm, I'm back in Southampton. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm going to go two nil to Southampton. I can't see them losing. I just I think they're going to do well. I can't see Saints losing, and I. You know, I'm a great granddad woods from Southampton, so I kind of have a little soft spot for them as well. Oh. Hull City, Tigers versus West Ham at Hull. Coming off the back of a win as well. I'm going for Hull. Got to. What are you going for? Hull. Hull, 2-1, as I call it. Go, Hull. 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 I'm going to go 2-0 <laughs> Hull. Full versus right. that's just alienated a load of people. Um, yeah. Fulham, Sorry, like. Fulham versus Cardiff at Fulham. Uh, one all. I'm gonna go nil nil. I think it'll be a draw, but I think it will be a dull, boring. Yeah, I think game. it'll be. A, yeah. Um, Villa versus City at Villa. I'm going three nil City. I just think company Yaya Torres' performance and Aguero's against. Manchester United. They never even mentioned Aguero's performance. They, he, he scored a beautiful volley. Nasri, oh, little back heel. Oh, sexy, oh. sexy football from City. I'm going 3 1. I think Villa will make a goal, but I imagine it will be a late consolation. I could see City running 3 0 by 60th minute, and then I think Villa might nick one near the end as a consolation, a bit like United did the other day. Yes. A move, speaking of United. Here we go. Man United uh, West Brom at. Man United West Brom at. Ask. Dreams. The fate of shy. Um one nil <laughs> to Man United. I I'm gonna go two two. I'm feeling brave. I'm going two two. Yeah, you always have one of them. We, 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 what was it last we, week? Nil nil for nil nil for the Man City Man United game. Oh, How did that work out? Yeah, well done. <laughs> I'll, I'll be back there, Al. Um Swansea Arsenal, late kick off on the Saturday. Oh god. Swansea I, I like However, they've lost in the, the Carling Cup to Birmingham. The holders are out. You said that with some spite there, Stu. Yeah. Uh, I like Swansea because I like the way they play the football. So I can see it being a high-scoring game, but I can see Ozil doing some damage as well. So I'm going to go 3-2 to the Mr. Gunners. Assist. Mr. Assist himself. I'm going 2-1 Arsenal. I like Swansea as well. I thought they played beautiful football the other day against Liverpool, but I just yeah. can't see them being strong enough to take Arsenal with the great passer yeah. in the team. Um, Stoke versus Norwich. Oh, what a game that's going to be. Fluder, nil, nil. Fluder will be there cheering them. No, he won't. He'll be at the Euro game, Red Imagine, but you're going 0-0. Nil, 0-0. Nil. Nil, nil. I'm going one all. Ooh. I think there'll be there'll be some really boring, scrappy goals scored. <laughs> Thanks for unsubbing, Norwich fans. Um, Sunderland versus Liverpool. The late kickoff. Or the four o'clock kickoff on Sunday. Uh, well, they. What did you say earlier? The the, the Caniolis. The Caniolis. 
<laughs> yeah, it was quite funny how Sunderland. you be canny all list. <laughs> um, two one to Liverpool. I hate agreeing with Liverpool, but I'm going to go two nil Liverpool. I they're going to want blood after Southampton, aren't they? Yeah. And after United, they're obviously recording on a Wednesday, and then United tonking them tonight one nil. So yep. I think they're going to want uh, want a bit of blood. I think I think two yeah. to Liverpool. And the beautiful, majestic, gorgeous Newcastle. <laughs> Everton versus <laughs> Newcastle at Goodison. Late kick off uh, on the Monday night. That's the eight o'clock kick off. What are you thinking? I'm going for. I'm going to back Everton because they beat Chelsea. And I Sensible think man unbeaten, only team unbeaten in the Premier League. Is it? I didn't even know yeah. that. Uh, Two yeah, wins, I'm... three draws. Not bad. I'm going for an Everton win. 2-1. There you go, Alp. 4-0. Bollocks. 4-0. <laughs> Mark my words. Oh, mate. 4-0. You just said... You've just put in there, you just said that you're unbeaten in the league and now you've gone and said 4-0. We're going to lose 2-0, aren't we? You'll probably get beat now for doing that. Well done, Alp. Do oh, fault, it's Luke? gone horribly wrong. There are predictions, guys. Let us know yours. Comments yeah. below. We want to... We, we like seeing predictions. We do look at them and we do think, Christ, you got that wrong. No, we don't really. We actually like to see people doing well with the predictions. So, Yeah, it's good. To, you know, a few guys see you. FC Danny left his predictions in the comments in my channel. Um, I can't times. remember what I did. I did. I did add it up earlier, but I didn't write it down. But I think got a couple of them right, to be fair to him as well. Yeah, so we don't mention it if they do better than us. Which is pretty much everyone every week because we're so yeah. poor at our predictions, but we have fun doing them. Yeah. Topic five, Alp. Giveaway. Comment. Giveaway. Topic five. Which comment? Which comment? Oh, Alp, you'd have to read this out. It's made me laugh so much. It's right. Uh, again, it, are we doing the same as last week in terms of prize? Yeah, we will do. Yeah. 10K. We're going to give away 10K on either PS3 or Xbox, depending on which console the winner has. Um, yeah. It was left on my channel, on my comments, by a guy called Super Jack, who who left us this. Oh. My mate Cal died the other day. <laughs> oh, God. It's not even that funny. It's just it's stupid, but it's funny at the same time. My mate time. Cal it's... died the other day. At least my washing machine will live longer, because washing machines live longer with Cal gone. <laughs> if you don't understand it, there was a TV advert... That used to say, washing machines live longer with cow gone. Um, yeah, so that's how it... It just made me laugh. the idea of a joke if you don't understand it. But it just made me laugh. It um, made me joke. So Super Jack has won 10k, so we'll get in touch with him. We'll ask him uh, which console he's on. And it's probably going to be, I would say, over the weekend, because obviously I want to get some coins up through buying packs and that before I... If it's PS3, obviously, if it's 360, I don't know how your coins stack is looking, Stu. <laughs> Uh, 29k, 21k, something like that. We'll hook him pack. up basically. We, I'm gonna sort yeah. out um, our winner last week, Scouser 28. Um, yeah. we're gonna be sending him his coins, or I'll be sending him his coins in the next few days. Yeah, because he was on PS3, wasn't he? He was it? on PS3. If this guy's on PS3, I'm gonna end up giving all the prizes out. <laughs> Jack, if you're listening, pal, get a just PS3. say PS3, even if you're on Xbox, just say PS3, just to wind out. So, yeah, pockets, mate, seriously. I think that big is it. Pockets with big holes. Big holes in your pockets. <laughs> coins. Pissed that is it. Everywhere. That is it for episode three. You had fun, Stu? I have, mate. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a good show. Thanks for 40 Star Mitch as well for coming on. Really appreciated him and uh, his yeah. input. And check him out, guys. There are, I'm doing more pointing, but there are uh, links below for his channel. That's, more pointing. Yeah, more pointing, mate. Oh. Right? More, more finger cam. Sounds more finger well dodgy. Cam. Yeah, well, what do you guys think? Would you like us to do a face cam just for a one-off special episode, just so you can see Alp pointing? Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. If you've listened <laughs> oh, to this long, guys, that's all. If, you, if you've actually stayed around for this bit, there'll be nothing in the comments, just like tumbleweeds going across slowly. But thanks for <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care of yourselves. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. <laughs>